Hi everyone, I have another video to show you. This time I'm going to show you how to use addition uh, using base 10 blocks. Um, if you don't know what base 10 blocks are, they are uh, these little manipulatives that students, most students, have seen and used in the classroom that compose that are composed of uh, ones cubes, and then ten of those make these, the tens, um, longs or sticks, and then ten of these would make um, a big flat like this, which is called a hundred. Um, and so we use these in school to help visually show students how to add and subtract, especially useful when we're learning how to borrow or trade. Um, and I'm going to show you how to use these with an addition problem, and I'm also going to show you how you can draw out your own. You actually don't have to have these manipulatives. You can, you can draw them on your paper. So here's my addition problem I have set up. It's a pretty simple one, 24 plus 13. So I'm basically just going to set up each of those numbers using my base 10 blocks. So I have two tens and four ones for my first number. And then 13 is composed of one more 10 and three ones for my uh, for this bottom number. And so then I just simply count them up. We always try to start with our smallest place value in case we do need to regroup. So if I count up my ones cubes, I can see that I have seven. And then if I count up my 10, uh, sticks, then I can see that I have three of those. So my answer would be 37. But again, I'm going to show you how you can actually draw out your own. Uh, it's real easy and you don't have to actually go out and purchase these manipulatives if you don't have them. So again, I'm just going to start with my top number and I'm going to draw out two tens and four ones, just like that, just using lines and dots. That's all that it takes. Some students like to actually draw out the rectangles and the cubes, and that's fine to do. Uh, it just takes it takes up a little bit more space um, and a little bit more time, but if that's what they're already doing and comfortable with, then that's fine too. But I'm just gonna use, I like stick figures, so these guys will work fine. So I'm gonna set up my second number, 13. And then again, it's the same concept. I'm just counting up my ones and then counting up my tens uh, to see that my total is 37. So in that problem, we didn't have any regrouping, but in this problem we do. Uh, I've got 425 plus 93. So again, I'm just going to draw out my base 10 blocks to show you how you, uh, you can add these up using the visuals. So my first number is 400. So I drew the bigger boxes because the um, they do represent the hundreds place. And then I have two tens and five ones. Then I'm gonna move down to my second number. Nine, I've got nine tens and three ones. So again, we're gonna start at the ones place. We always start with our smallest place value and count those up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So no regrouping is necessary there. Um, now I'm gonna count up my tens place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now most students know that you can't put a two digit number here in the tens place. So we have to regroup. We're going to count up ten of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm actually just going to cross those out. And you can cross them as you're counting. And I'm going to put those in a bubble draw an arrow to show that I've made a new hundred. So now all that I have left for my tens is this one ten. Because I've taken all of these ten tens and put them into a new hundred. Now I can count up my hundreds place. One, two, three, four, five. And I have five hundreds. So that's just a quick, easy way to show how you can visually see how to regroup numbers when you're adding and it's especially helpful when you're regrouping. Thanks so much. I hope you like this video. Please check out my other tutoring videos and subscribe to my channel.